On September 22, 1862, after the North's victory in Antietam, President Abraham Lincoln first brought up what would be the Emancipation Proclamation, that as of January 1, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. This was to free the slaves in the Confederacy. How many slaves? Well, that's still in question. There's no accurate register of how many Africans were slaves during that time. The economy of the South rested heavily on slave labor, and although the census measured the population, slaves were not considered anything more than property, the equivalency of livestock in most cases, not people. Some say over four million slaves were in the United States, some say less. But of note, the Emancipation Proclamation did not free the slaves in the northern states. And if any slave was caught running away, they could be sent back. Thus, Canada became the final destination place for many. Still, it took almost three years since it was first announced for word to travel throughout the South. A huge part of this was due to the Civil War. Union troops went into the South freeing slaves from captured property. In January 1865, the 13th Amendment abolishing slavery was passed by Congress and not done until December. The Civil War ended with Lee's surrender at Appomattox April 9, 1865, and by all accounts, it wasn't until June 19, 1865, that Major General Gordon Granger and his Union soldiers reached Galveston, Texas to announce the Civil War was over, and so was slavery. Thus, Juneteenth was born. An African-American abolitionist and Presbyterian pastor, Henry Highland Garnett, at the invitation of President Abraham Lincoln, gave a sermon in the House of Representatives entitled, Let the Monster Perish, in which he states, I would as soon attempt to enslave Gabriel or Michael as to enslave a man made in the image of God and for whom Christ died. Slavery is snatching man from the high place to which he was lifted by the hand of God and dragging him down to the level of the brute creation where he was made to be a companion of the horse and the fellow of the ox. Henry Highland Garnett went on to be the president of Avery College on Pittsburgh's north side and the founder of Grace Memorial Presbyterian Church, now in the Hill District, as well as helping to organize the first Juneteenth March in Pittsburgh, then called Freedom March. From 1619, when Africans were first brought to the New World as slaves, to the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863, to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, to today, Juneteenth still marches towards freedom.